Hi guys, I'm recording this video to show you how to use the um, World Bank database. So if you go to Google and type um, World Bank data, World Bank data, so you'll see the World Bank, um, the World Data Bank, and if you, if you click on that, then you could see different sources of data you can choose databases to choose from um, different databases um, one of the uh, most uh, popular uh, database is the world development indicators but also you could see other data uh, bases here lots of databases so let's say um, we'll go to the um, the first one so world development indicators wdi so um, this is how it uh, looks like so if you want to change the database, you could actually um, change your choice here. So you can select different database. So you can see we have 61 available databases, but what we choose here is only one. So we select only one database, which is the first one, World Development Indicators. And from this tab here, you can choose the, the country. So if you want to, for example, Algeria, Argentina, or whatever, so you choose the number of countries, you could also um, um, go here, like according to the first, let's say if I want to choose Egypt, so these are all the order alphabetically, so I can just click on E, so this will take me to the all countries that start with um, E, so I choose Egypt here, or you could actually choose all countries by select by taking this um, select all so now what I did now I select all countries in in this data set so of course you don't need to do that you only choose the countries you want to uh, collect data for so let's say and in, in our example I'm just gonna take all these countries um, then you move to Sirius Sirius here are the variables that you're looking for um, uh, uh, to collect data for so let's say um, I want to collect data for JDB so you can type here and search uh, by the way also with the countries here you could type the name of the country and search so um, that's uh, that's another way to find the country so let's go for the series now so I I just typed JDB so if I want to um, and now you, you you could see different variables um, related to GDB because GDB is very uh, many of the variables will be like um, as a person to GDB so you'll, you'll still see uh, many uh, variables uh, for example I want to have like GDB um, constant LCU local currency unit so that's uh, measured by local currency or if you want to have uh, GDB growth uh, as an annual percentage we can let's say we want to we're interested to have GDP per capita and this is constant prices 2010 US dollars um, and then it says right, so, I mean you can just select whatever um, variables you want to collect data for so let's say we are interested in the GDP per capita growth um, um, you can there's no limit uh, of how many choices um, uh, you can make here so you can make you can select um different uh different variables i'm just trying to select more uh more variables uh, of course if you want to collect data for like um, any other variables any other macro variables you could just type your variable here and try to find the variable you want to collect uh data for so let's say this is all what we want now for uh for this uh for the for, for this video for this uh, demonstration so let's say we, we already let's assume we, we choose all the variables that we want to collect data for the last thing we would like to do here is just to go and select the um, the the time so these are annual data so um, you could choose for the what for which years you want this for is it uh, you want to the, to have the most five uh, uh, recent years or 10 20 but let's say we're just gonna take all these years so this data actually start from 1960 till 19 uh, till 2016 so I, I choose all these so once you do this you need to apply changes so this will apply all changes now we did do the data set 
so uh, let me from here let's say now we this is this is all the data we want so what we need to do now is just to download this data so you go to download options you have many options uh, so you can download the data you collected now in different formats so I usually choose Excel so I'll download it I download this in Excel uh, format so now it is downloading yes it's here now you can see um, so if we if we open this data set now so if we um, if we open this Excel file now so that's what we have so this is all the data we uh, downloaded now so remember we download data for all countries so you can see um, the first column is the countries this is just um, the country code for the World Bank so actually we don't need it for uh, um, because we already have the the country name here so that's fine so this the serious code is fine so what we have here is the serious name so for each one of those countries so for Algeria for example you have GDP constant local currency unit GDP growth annual percentage GDP per capita constant 2010 US dollar GDP per capita growth and and etc and also what is very useful here is this um, definition and so so this tab so if you go to this um, it, should, it will show you the the definition of this variable how it is calculated and how it is defined so that was very quick uh, video to show you how to use the uh, World Bank database uh, just uh, as quick recap so let me summarize what we we did so all what we did we uh, you go to Google uh, type World uh, Bank database and then from there you can choose the databases and from the databases I choose the first one the World Development Indicators and then once you come to this um, this screen you could actually make different uh, choices here you could select um, different database um, here you choose the countries and then um, the series and then the time frame then you just download the data as an excel file thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video thank you